All right, welcome back, folks. We are here to talk about the Buffalo Bills defense in preparation for their matchup against the Chicago Bears. My name is Quentin Crisco. Find me on Twitter or YouTube at Stats. Make sure you like or subscribe if you like this video. You can find my work at ONTAP Sportsnet and Shaving Points Podcast, which is also on YouTube or at shaving-points.com. Let's go. So we're going to start off looking at some of the Bills' first down coverages and pass rush and stunts and that type of stuff. This first play, I want you to watch number 91, who's highlighted here, Ed Oliver, just explode into the backfield. So we can see on this play, we're looking at cover one. Ed Oliver exploded back into there. Mike White did a little sidestep. The offensive lineman recovered okay, but his explosiveness is a problem on the interior. One high, uh, one high safety, one linebacker zone in the middle. Some of the linebackers did some some green dog stuff on this when a guy stayed in the block. But it was just a four-man rush. What I'm paying attention to is all this green grass, all that room to run, and all Justin Fields has to do is beat this guy to the edge and this guy who's in pursuit. Obviously, the Bills were not too worried about Mike White's legs in this game. We might see them run stuff a little differently. I just didn't want to go all the way back to week four to look at the Ravens film because it could be a completely different defense by now. I just I think there's a lot of opportunity right here for Justin Fields to use his legs if he gets a look like this. First and 10 plays only right now. We get a nice stunt here where I think that's Shaq Lawson. We get we get looping around back to the inside. One of these interior guys gets really good pressure. This is a quarters coverage. So each of these four guys highlighted has, has a deep quarter responsibility on this. Let's take a look. So right here, we are going to see the safety, Damar Hamlin. He's about to come downhill on the on this route right here in the middle of the field, which is going to get through his zone and break into the next zone. Meanwhile, because he got pulled down, this route that breaks in, into Damar Hamlin's zone ends up wide open. So on this look, we see a cover three defense. The back three guys have a, a deep third. Two linebackers in the middle have the middle of the field. And the uh, two guys a little lower down have a uh, hook, hook zone to shallow up to the line of scrimmage. On this play, one thing that I really noticed is we got highlighted here Tremaine Edmonds. Number 11 here is running this in-breaking route, this in straight at Edmonds. We can see here the ball's already being released. Ball's already coming out right about here, and Edmonds hasn't really broken on it yet. He's just starting to break on it. I think he's a little hesitant in some of his uh, some of his reactions to stuff right now. I also noticed it on running plays and play action. He wasn't as reactionary as I thought he would be to the play action or to runs, to, to handoffs, like actual run plays. So I think that's something you might be able to take advantage of within their defense is Edmonds is, he's playing very inhibited and not, not instinctive. On this play, you see a cover three look, number 30 here has has this uh this deep third to the right right of the right of the hashes up high safety has the deep middle other cornerback has the deep deep left we see this little motion here and because he's motioned away i mean there's no threat unless the tight end releases out deep so 30 saying this is this might be a run or i, I don't think anyone's going to be deep so he comes up on the line of scrimmage and comes downhill on the run but it is a pass play he sees he sees the quarterback's got the ball right here you can see he's like he's bailing now like oh crap this tight end is running a crosser right into his zone and he gets caught with his hand with his uh pants on the ground so now we're going to take a look at some of the first down runs first things first i wanted to highlight the, the runs out of spread formations did a lot better for the Jets than the runs out of heavy formations. Getting that lighter box meant a lot. Uh, it, we see these wider splits within the pass rush or with it within the D line. Like we see just wider splits all around. And, you know, it's just a lot of area for these guys to cover in the run game. And there was even motion on this play that took uh, Matt Milano out of the box. He went off to the right of the screen and it brought 
number seven here, Teron Johnson, into the box. So you're talking about a six-man box, one of whom is a, a safety or a cornerback. I think he's a nickel corner. You feel pretty good about running on that, and that's where a lot of the Jets' running success came in this game is when they were facing these lighter boxes. Now we see a heavier box. This is an eight-man box. I mean, you notice these splits between the defenders are a lot more narrow, and you really, you got a man for each gap, like more than a man for each gap, probably. Like, yeah, you, you have a, a one man to each gap, so no one's forced to two gap in this situation, which is really how you want to defend the run, right? You want one guy for each gap. You want, like, like it's hard to do because you're giving up a lot more in coverage, but it's the ideal scenario for defending the run. Now, I want you here on this play watch number 92 Daquan Jones really make a nice play here see just a little long arm I think it's right in the backfield disrupts it can't can't close the play but the Bills finishing speed within their defense is excellent like the, they got a lot of speed out there these guys hustle the football they're gang tacklers when you miss a tackle like that but you've disrupted you've won the play because they're gonna have three four guys jumping on you pretty soon now this one, again, we see a heavier box. Seven men here. The difference between six and seven is pretty big when you're the Bills. I mean, what one of these guys is, again, number seven. So a smaller player, but it's still seven guys within there. And a lot of good coverage of the running outs. On this play, I want you to watch number 90, Shaq Lawson, and specifically how he uses his hands to stay clean. See, look at that. Right into the chest of the blocker. So now I'm going to take a look at some of their second and third down plays. These are all second and third and manageable. I didn't want to do anything that was out of out of reason because if you're if you're playing behind the sticks a lot against the Bills, you, you've already lost. You know, there's not a lot of point to really looking at that unless you have you know Pat Mahomes maybe can do it, but you, you got to stay ahead of the sticks for the most part against their defense. This one we're we're going to see a run play. We see a seven man box here, which I did say, you know, is a lot better than a six-man box, but look at how wide some of these alignments are. Like the the difference between the one tech here and the what is that? Like a wide nine, almost. That I mean, that's just a massive area for Teron Johnson to have to cover. Let's see how it works out. That's exactly where he goes. It's a nice gain. Here's the difference with this one. So it's still a seven-man box. We just see a lot tighter of alignments here. And you even got these these corners helping out on the edges because of the way that the... Yeah, I mean, you, you have more run defenders here than you have gaps. Like, he can go, he can go to the, uh, the B gap, the A gap, the other A gap. Like, you, you almost have a safety here in Edmonds able to kind of pick and choose what gap he wants to play. The Jets are kind of putting themselves in this situation. By going such a heavy personnel in a tight formation, they are making the Bills match that. And they know they've had success running out of more spread out formations. That's forced the Bills into lighter boxes and they haven't really been able to stop the run. But they kept going to these tight, heavy formations and didn't have as much success with them. So here, we're seeing a cover one variation with a, a simulated pressure. We have got five guys in the line of scrimmage right now. Two edge rushers, three down linemen. And the two edge rushers are actually going to drop out into some shallow zones. While everyone else, is, except for the deep safety, is in man coverage. The deep safety is just in a deep zone. And this last one, I had to go to the game against the Dolphins to find another because the Jets just didn't have a whole lot of third and manageable in that game. Um, their offense really wasn't ticking that well. So I wanted to fi find at least one from another game that I could kind of show that was successful for the offense. So third and five, and we're looking at a quarter, quarter, half coverage, I think. I believe this is Trey White, Tredavious White. He's got deep half, so he's basically playing man coverage against his guy on the deep half. That's all I got for you on the Buffalo Bills defense. Let me know what you liked, didn't like. Go check out Shaving Points Podcast, shaving-points.com. Check out ONTAP Sportsnet. All my writing, including my game preview, can be found there on tapsportsnet.com and bear down.